Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash is the new big upcoming anime game for 2023. The game will be releasing sometime towards the end of the year and it will be releasing on every single console available, PC, Nintendo Switch, on PS5 and PS4 and across all Xbox systems. Now you're probably wondering, is the game going to be actually any good and is it going to be worth your time and money? So first of all, what is Jujutsu Kaisen? Curse Clash. So it's a brand new 3D action brawler game developed by Biking, the developers behind the My Heroes One Justice games. Now just from looking at the gameplay alone, you probably might have already guessed that. It's not done by CyberConnect2, unfortunately it's done by Biking, developers behind My Hero One Justice games. Now that's not essentially bad, those games are quite fun and they do a lot of different stuff that other anime games just don't do. Now for this game in particular, what seems to be a really big aspect and something that really pushing is a 2v2 battle concept. If you look on the website, it's actually advertised as a 2v2 action game. I really like the idea of this. I think it's going to be a really fun fighting game having this 2v2 player aspect involved. It's going to open a lot of possibilities for uh, character ultimate attacks and as well as just basic combos. I can see that being implemented in this game a lot. And it's actually really cool and makes a lot of sense actually because if you look back in the anime, especially uh, in season one, there were many times when characters were in kind of like that 2v2 situation where it was like 2v2 or actually 2v1 you know there's actually many instances you can look back when like nobra and uh yuji were fighting the uh brother at like you know last final two three episodes you have yuji uh and todo teaming up you have yuji uh and nanami kento teaming up when they're fighting uh mahito so there's a lot of those 2v2 aspects here in the game and if they can implement like just basic combos not even like ultimate attacks that's gonna open up a lot of new doors and character fighting possibilities even if their roster isn't that big just by having this it's gonna feel like the game is always fresh you want to experiment with different characters and see what kind of combinations they can come up with so i really like this idea of the 2v2 aspect and i think it's going to make the game really fun and fresh however with this being said because if the game is going to go and follow that kind of suit a 2v2 battle style anime fighting game it really 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 needs to have a really good training mode because if this is going to be a focus for 2v2, it needs to have a 2v2 focused training mode. And if it doesn't have that and it just has kind of like, you know, the basic solo player uh, CPU practice mode, then that's going to be a problem. The training and practice mode also needs to suit the type of game it is. Whether we're able to invite friends in a co-op setting, be able to practice together actually on the same team that's going to be an important aspect because you can't have a 2v2 fighting based game and not have a practice mode to go along with it so it's really simple stuff like that that's either going to make this game super popular and famous for having those aspects really uh, that are mainly focused towards the player base you know we want to have a good training mode but also you know it makes the online a little bit worrying too because how are they gonna do it is it just gonna be a 2v2 online play game or is it gonna be an option to actually play in a 1v1 scenario as well because that can also affect the uh, life of the game online as well because you know if you split the player base up in that way you're gonna have a lot of players and maybe they want to play in a 1v1 and it's gonna be a lot of players that want to play in a 2v2 so you know if majority of the players are moving towards one way you know for example if everyone wants to play 1v1 but then you have a lot of players that want to play 2v2 you're gonna struggle to find online people so it'll be interesting to see how the online for this game will work is it going to be multiple online game modes or is it just going to be one and is the whole focus of this game gonna be 2v2 because you know the aspect of the game looks like they're really pushing towards a uh, 2v2 uh, 3d anime action brawler game like if you look online there's a big aspect of 2v2 being involved so that could be the the, the option of having 1v1 could actually not be possible for Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash but at the moment we'll have to wait and see when we receive more information regarding the game and hopefully we do get a release date soon 
But other than that, guys, I'll keep you posted with any new news coming out related to this game. I'm all for it. I'm all jumping on board for Jujutsu Kaisen. You know, if you've been following me for a while, I've had Gojo as my profile picture for a very, very long time. So I'm happy to jump on board for this, support the game, and um, yeah, make a lot of videos for it. So if you're new around here, welcome, subscribe, join the channel, and I'll keep you posted with everything related to Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash.